Good Morning Britain, our top story hoping for answers. Will the families of the 298 victims of MH17 finally discover who shot down the aircraft over Ukraine? Please get our father home, a British family's desperate plea to the Prime Minister for the 74-year-old facing 350 lashes in Saudi Arabia. He's a 74-year-old man who's survived cancer three times, um, has asthma. You know, he's been there a year and I'm, I'm getting worried for him. What happened, boys? Following their World Cup exit, the England rugby team faced their chief cheerleaders for the first time. Britain's most wanted little outs, the council naming and shaming those who drop rubbish on our streets. And opening up about one of the toughest times in her life. Going through a divorce with kids is one of the hardest things ever. Uh, really difficult. That's coming up on Good Morning Britain. Tuesday, 13th of October 2015, live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain. At 7 o'clock, our main news is that the families of the victims of Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 will hear the findings today of a 15-month investigation into why it crashed. Yes, 298 people were killed, including 10 Britons, when the plane was destroyed over eastern Ukraine. And our chief correspondent, Richard Gaysford, is in The Hague, where the report will be published. So, Richard, what is expected to say? Well, when the relatives walk in here to see this report, they expect to see in black and white what caused the crash, Kate. And it's thought the investigators are going to put the blame for the crash on a surface to missile. Missile, but they will not apportion blame for who fired it. That comes at a later stage in a criminal investigation. The Russians, though, feel that Western governments have already blamed them for this crash. They've said that they think their evidence that they provided to the investigation hasn't been listened to. The manufacturer of the missile has said its missile could not have brought down the aircraft. We know it was spread for miles across fields in eastern Ukraine. Uh, the wreckage brought back here to Holland has been put back together in large part, and today relatives will also see sections of the aircraft in a hangar uh, here in Holland. It's a crash which has been shrouded in mystery, confusion and conspiracy theories. But today, with the findings of a long-awaited investigation into the MH17 disaster, families of those who died are hoping for some clarity. You want to fight for answers. But like I say, not just for us, for Glenn, for all the families. We're all in the same situation. But although the reports expected to say the flight was downed by a Russian-made surface-to-air missile, it won't say who actually fired it or why. It will also consider why the plane was allowed to take the route over the Ukrainian conflict zone when some airlines sent their planes on detours around the area. Families will also see a reconstruction of part of the plane made with recovered pieces of debris. It's going to be hard to see something that you know Liam was a part of. It'll be like an eerie feeling, I think. There's lots of ghosts, uh, but I think it's something that has to be done. The waiting for families will continue after today, with the international criminal investigation into finding those responsible expected to run on into next year. Richard Gaysford, Good Morning Britain, The Hague. Well, that's our main news this morning. Now here's Sean with more on the British man facing 350 lashes in Saudi Arabia. 